So I was telling you guys this story before I came on, and we're going to get to this poll a little bit later. I sent out a poll to our texters um, earlier this morning, and I asked them to, to rank um, all of the Browns' secondary players in order of importance for 2021. And then I start getting responses, like, right away. And so I open them up, and I look, and it, every response is, where's Greedy Williams? Why isn't Greedy Williams on? I had forgotten to put Greedy Williams on the list. I take down the poll, put up a new one, and send out a new text. But – the point is, I forgot about Greedy Williams. I don't think I'm the only person who, who has done that. Greedy, obviously, uh, having a shoulder injury, a, a nerve. Uh, I was originally day-to-day. It, it just never got better. So here we are with Greedy Williams. We're going to be going into year three. Year two is sort of a lost year. So the big question here is, what is Greedy Williams' future? Do we even know? I don't even know how you begin to answer that because it's not like he's dealing with a broken bone or a hamstring or even, you know, concussion issues. It's nerve damage. And I mean, based on what we know right now, meaning we, meaning not the Browns, because you assume they know more than us. uh, I mean, you have to, you have to assume they're moving forward thinking Ward and Mitchell are are the top of the depth chart. Those, Those are your corners. And then any plans to upgrade its position is based on that. I'm not sure how you factor Greedy Williams into that. Maybe it's like a, a pleasant surprise that he's able to go or that he overcomes this and, and, you know, who knows? Who knows what his future is right now? They are at the mercy of the nerve. And unfortunately, it did not respond uh, at all this season to the point where he could get back on the field and play. He's doing everything that he can. He's getting the treatment that he needs. Uh, you know, you do different things to try to stimulate uh, the nerve and, and to try to get it to, um, to respond. And, but it needs to regenerate. And it will do that in its own time. And so nobody knows when or if or how that's going to happen. Therefore, he is a bonus. He's, he's a bonus if you get him back healthy. And in the meantime, you have to behave as though you're not getting him back. You just have to. So uh, Mitchell is, uh, he, he's due to become a free agent. So I think they need to re-sign Terrence Mitchell. I think they got good play out of Terrence Mitchell. And if he's not going to be your starter, at least, uh, you know, he can factor into the rotation. Uh, he can be part of the program. I, I think I would just go ahead and, uh, and re-sign Terrence Mitchell. Unless of course, Somebody else is definitely 100% sure they want him to be their starter and they pay him an amount of money that you're not prepared to pay him. In the meantime, I think you have to look around for another starting cornerback uh, to play opposite Denzel Ward. And if you end up with a surplus, then so be it. You could always trade somebody. You could always do something. But I think they have to either draft one, look for another one in free agency, sign Terrence Mitchell, and proceed as though Greedy just might not make it back. It's like Josh Gordon all over again. It's the same situation. You just don't know. Right. It'd be great, you know, if he comes back and you got you you got a, a potential starter there, but you, you just don't know. Right. And then the good news is at least unlike Gordon, you know that if he is if he is healthy and he can play, he's gonna be there for you. You know, the other thing is we just don't know what type of player he is. I don't think we got a good read on that his rookie year. But this is still a guy who's 23 years old. Uh, I just looked it up. He ran a 4.3740, so you would have a ton of speed back there if you can settle in as the starter opposite Denzel Ward. Denzel is a, like a 4.32 guy, um, which is w- what you love to have at the corner position, especially when you know you're going to have to beat the Kansas City Chiefs uh, if you want to get to the Super Bowl. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, you hope Greedy Williams can come back and be the player that John Dorsey thought he could be. Uh, but at this point, we just don't know. There's so many conspiracy theories that go around uh, around about Greedy. You guys probably see him. You probably you guys probably get the emails. You hear like people always, uh, you know, email me and say, you know, things like, "We hear that you know Greedy doesn't want to play anymore. We hear that Greedy just doesn't want to be here. We hear that Greedy that they don't like Greedy." From everything that I can tell, and from everybody that I've talked to, he's working really, really hard to come back and and to to get well and to be back in his starting spot with the Cleveland Browns and they would love for that to happen. So from everything that everybody has heard, I'm not finding uh, that, there is, that there is any truth to any of that stuff. 